Hmm? He could not really look me in the eye and confess his feelings for me. That is because both of you are not meant to be. I was not talking to you, children. I did not put my mouth in your direction. Some naso. I am only thought the way you look at that stranger. Hey. Every sign and red light indicates that he is not meant for you. Papa, he is meant for me. He is the one that I love. He consumes my entire being. Papa, the thought of him just it sweeps me off my feet. Like my heart cannot pump blood without him. Papa. Every relationship that we fail always fails before it starts. Hmm. The problem is that women turn deaf ears to the sound of warning. You know I was not talking to you. I did not ask for your suggestions. Chigono. Somnazo, a grasshopper that is killed by a moving train has a deaf ears. Somnazo, I don't believe in the testimonial of Sebencho being my reincarnate of my grandfather. But I believe that that boy, that stranger, is not good enough for you. Yes, that's the truth. Take it or you leave it. I love you. You may not know how it starts. You fit not know how it starts. Even me, it's all over me. Karamo, I love you. I give you my own heart. You are resting. You are relaxing here. Please, you have to help us and talk to him. Beg him not to make case against your only brother. Oh, so phone name when I know why. Can it Oh, Pico. My hands are tied. My hands are tied, Mama. Zebenjo has given the condition that should be followed. He says he is not going to make a case out of it if my family unanimously agrees we get married. But, Zikora, mom, you know your brother is a coward. He couldn't, he couldn't have had the heart to make an attempt on Zebin just life. It's not possible. How am I supposed to know that? No, no, really, Mama. How am I supposed to know that? Obiago is the one who goes about saying he must kill Zebenjo. And when Zebenjo went missing, he took responsibility for his disappearance. We all know that benefit of doubt. We all know it. But you see, I can vouch for your brother. I can vouch for Biago. He, he does not have the heart. Please, please, ne, help us. Help us and switch him not to make any case against him. Biko. Mama, I really do not know what you want me to do here. What role do you want me to play in this matter? Remember the consequences death. Zebenjo is strong-willed. When and if he makes up his mind, 
no amount of pleads can pacify him. Like I said earlier, my hands are tied. Um, I'll be back. Piago, your mouth is set to put you into trouble. Hey, what am I going to do? Can I sit with you for a while? See, I know you don't like me. And I know you don't believe my ministry as a seer. But the truth must be told whenever and wherever. Chigun, he melts my heart. He pumps blood into this heart. You of all people, you know the feeling called love. I love him so, so much. I'm not in doubt. I know you genuinely love him. Thank you. Then help me. Help me convince my father so that he can approve of the both of us together. Please. Please. Are you, are you angry? Are you what? angry? Because I refused you from marrying my father after my mother left. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You can marry him now. Just marry him. Please, just convince him to give us his full support. Just. Let him give it to us, please. Please. <laughs> you see what it means when they say love is blind? You're truly blind. But the revelation remains that the young man reincarnated from your ancestors, your grandfather. I knew it. I knew that you would waste my time with this prophecy. Prophecy that does not have network, that does not have signal. I knew it. Keep your prophecy to yourself. Professor, I'll put your magic. Egawata. water. You will never understand. But don't worry, time will tell. Time will tell. Oh, what happened? Were you able to convince her? Uh, very, very I'm not easy. Yeah, it was, it's not easy. Mm. Your sister said that the only solution is to allow the both of them to get married. Ah. Mama, how would that be? <laughs> Zikora is betrothed to Mwabeze. I'm not sure. Yeah. Then prepare to die. And when you die, tell your ancestors that we did what we did because you have failed to control your mouth. Yeah. Or have you forgotten that he who gas his tongue gas his life? Mama, I'm a cat who's not dying. I'm a cat who's not dying. I'm a cat who's not dying. Mama, what if you. You pay the, the father a visit. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk things over with him. What do you think? 
Uh, come, let's go together now. Um, you have to go with me then. Mama, I want to come on. I can't go soon. I do. I want to go see you. Do You know, you can do it. Do 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 do. Remember, a life of one is a life for all. So far, family is involved, though. Really? Ha. Yes. Oh, go on, baby. Anya, ni me solia. If I die. Eh? Ubiago, you can reason like this. For the first time in your life, you are thinking towards the right direction. Eh? Anyway, I'll see what I can do. I'll go and see the man. I'll go and see uh, Maziodo. Okay. Oh, after this one, you now you know how to control your mouth. We feel in a Onu kuwe afa mumado. Onu yani kuchikelo wana. Na yeye dembe mechi ana wasi so. Kani ukui ne kupa. You've not learnt your lessons even up till now. Ubiako. How is it doing you? Zikora, I am that girl that believes that the best form of defense is to launch an attack first. Um, um, by that what do you mean? Hmm. I went to confront that girl from Ozowan on your behalf. You need to see her all shaking as my domineering thunderous voice was echoing others on her. Hi! Hi! What would I have done without you? Hmm. Where's you? I told her to stay away from Zebenjo because both of you are planning to get married soon. Seriously? Yes. Was that what you told her? <laughs> I will always have your back on. I will always have your back. If I told her, I told her she should stay away from Momo Jirikin because the next time I find her feet there, hey, I will send Torrent Sharon to beat pneumonia into that her emotions. Hey! Hey, me! All this for me? All this for you. Hey! Nezyokume, in my next life, you will not be my friend, though. You will not come as my friend. You will come as my blood sister. Hey! What would I have done without you? I'm always available for you. Trust me. In my fame game, and we know exactly what I can do, eh? I can imagine the look of her face. You cannot imagine it, though. Trust me. Oh, I'm Hey! To a sister and a friend, all in one, mm -hmm. together. Person, have you come to be in my house? Hey, no, Papa. In inspection. Hmm? It's just a friendly visit now. A friendly visit from a woman? Her friendly son wants to kill my only son. Eh? Why are you talking like this now? See, my son cannot do such a thing. You see that, my son? <laughs> he can't even hurt a fly. It's a lie. Your son wanted to kill my only son. In fact, you arranged for him to be devoured by a lion. Yes. Your son has Obiago. He's Obiago himself. Obiago, nanya biko zeno, nanya biko. You stop talking like this now. You stop talking like this so that people between. Look, Zebenjo is back and healthy. Prepare your son to get ready for the consequences of his actions. In fact, if the local chiefs cannot handle it to my satisfaction, I go to Kokomai. Oh. Until the Benjo comes back. Don't worry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you want any more money? You want any more money? I'm not a widow. I don't have anybody to help me. Uh, please now. The okay, I will come back. Oh, oh.
Mas eu também consigo não não bico não não é meu ídolo, não é meu ídolo. É meu parceiro minha irmã, mas eu também consigo não não bico bico. Se o governo não me pera, eu vou fazer como mando. The end of the way, when you move on, on your own path, on your own way, I'll go with you. On your own way, when you move on. I won't dinja. I won't dinja. The son of Akunwafo, the son of Omo Barere. I, Ogudire has come to your place of abode. It is not a reoccurring happening for Okutile, the immaculate priestess of sacred goddess of purity, to leave her cocoon and journey down to Uzowale. No matter the situation of life, the hen must return to its rest at dusk. Whatever happens, it is time to unravel the hidden truth that has been concealed from the immemorial. The reincarnates of Omu Barere was encapsulated in Chinelo Swamp. Where is Chinelo? <laughs> Nobody knows her whereabout. But the rumor had it that she died a long time ago. The time is now for the domestic birds to return to their roosts. A proud man dies two times before his time. What is she talking about? Who is Chinele? She's nobody of importance. What happened? Papa, nothing happened. I took care of some animals in the bush. What animals? Papa, you asked too many questions. Some white meat are not meant for consumption. Okay? Do not worry yourself. I am going to hunt a better meat for you. It's not that I'm naive or that I was born yesterday. But you have to be careful. Maka, when you need a bro, That's all I'm saying. Oh my god. Is this how I would die? Help me. I've been shouting. Nobody seems to hear me. Somebody help me! <laughs> Somebody! Somebody help me! Oh, you fit me. 
don't know how it starts all. Even me. Okay. What is it? I know you want to sit down now. Sit down. Thank you. Let me ask you. That's a priestess. Her relations are not clear. What exactly is my father hiding? And who is this particular Chinele that he has not mentioned her to me? Whatsoever that is buried will be unraveled by the time the rain washes off the surface of the soil. You know, you have never offered me any meaningful solution. But anytime I'm alone, you need some nicky, 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 nicky. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no. Revelation always comes in the world of isolation. Obiakwa. Revelation, isolation, or new cool grammar. Are you done with your talking, prophecy, cracking network? So you are close to my father, so let me ask. Do you know this Chinelo? I'm one prognosticator that you don't believe in. So what makes you think you believe me now that you have a lot of questions in your heart? Tell me now, what do you know? Yagwam ko yagwam. Wam ke mama na gwazie no. Oh. Wonu. I have been your father's mistress for years now. Mhm. Mm do you think it's because of your dislike in our relationship that makes me not to marry him? Reasons best known to you and your ancestors. <laughs> or have you wondered why I've not married your father? I think you should hurry. Go and see your mother. She has a lot of answers to your questions about your father. My mother. Yes, your mother. Please, please. That can wait. I don't want my husband to come back and meet you here. And look at this girl. Please, if it's not important, I will not come here. It's very important. Please, I want to ask you something. Please, it will help me and it will save a lot of things. Please, be good. Be good, be good, be good, be good. Who is Chinelo? Chinelo? Who told you about her? So you know her? Who is she? Tell me everything that you know about her. No, please. Who is you? Who put it? Please. Your father said he saw you washing your blood-stained hands. And he knows you're up to something. What is it? Mwabeza was the one who sent those hoodlums against me. One of them is dead. The other one, Sopluchu is under my custody. I tied him up in a secluded area around Mwamaka's deserted hut. What are you going to do? We are going to hold him to testify against Mwabeze. That way, your brother will be free. What are you waiting for? We are going to wait until your family give consent to our marriage. Then we bring him to testify against Mwabeze. 
that way we've achieved our aim and we are happily married and the consequences of the offense meted out on Mwabeze. I know I know how it started. love no. What is it? Tell me, just tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, and I'll read. Tell me, tell me. See, my daughter, your father, Omudinjo, is suffering from pedophobia. That means fear of infants. He, he cannot stay with babies. Is that a real thing? On a meme? Yes. Is that why I'm the only child? No. When it was time for me to give birth to you, he threw me out of the house with unnecessary excuses. That, that was how I met Okweli, my teacher. Being a good man, an honorable person, we agreed that we will return you back to your father when you come of age. Okay. That is Anna. exactly what happened. Okay, Anugongi, Manina Abu Krikri. Kanju Kogozo, who is Chinelo? Chinelo. Chinelo. She was the first woman he married before me. She was pregnant like me. When your father threw her out of the house to an unknown destination. After some times, the story heard that she died on her way due to the, the pains and travails of motherhood. She couldn't bear it. She died. Her body was found after seven months. Yes. So, did she die? Did she give birth to the child or did she, was she pregnant when she died? What happened? Get it there. Nobody could tell because her body was found out already decayed. The only thing that they used to identify her was her bracelet. My dear, till today, your father is still suffering from pedophobia. Fear of infants. So as you can see, no woman will risk her life Staying with such man. So, but he can stay with teenagers, adults. So he couldn't raise me when I was a newborn baby, but he can raise me when I'm a teenager, when I'm grown. Yes. Like, who does that? So does he mean he cannot take care of me when I... Well, he couldn't take care of me when I was a baby. Mm -hmm. Only when... I remember it vividly what it is having her around here. I'm sorry, my husband. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, my husband. I'm sorry. I'm talking to you. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen to me. Do not remind me she's your daughter. For I know she is. I don't just want her coming around my house to contaminate my children with the irresponsibility of a father. Oh. I'm sorry. Please, I'm still saying this. I'm sorry, my husband. Look, you can have your meetings anywhere around. Certainly not in my house. Sir, it was harsh. It was very harsh. I'm sorry. You talk about being harsh? Did I hear you say harsh? I took care of your mother during the gestation period I gave birth to you. I single-handedly took care of you till you grew up to be nine years old. 
Yes. The suddenly from nowhere, your irresponsible father came around to lay hands or claim claims on you and your mother. A man that stood with your mother to represent the duties of a man when your stupid father was suffering from his psychological challenge. A man that did everything for you cannot say to be harsh. My husband, please. Please stop. You're just coming back from work. Hey. You have to change. Listen to me. I don't want this girl around my house. I hate seeing you around my house. I hate you. I don't want you around my house. Not anywhere close to my house. You remind me of that coward of a father of yours. We paid for big. Come back here. I said, come back here. The life that girl has, I gave it to her. Yes, you're right. So she should be grateful enough to obey the orders of staying away from my family. I have spoken. Nonsense. What revelation did you get that made you sad? So you know about it all this while. Ima, Izuya, Ipuria. Don't make it look like I know about it. I'm just a young lady like you. The difference is that I'm gifted and I'm a fortune teller, which you don't believe in. I just hope things start making sense to you. The hatred is so much. Envyness and jealousy, so much. She won't be a dog, but also the envyness is so much. This hatred is so much. Can you again move away with the God of the poor, but also? You know, in some situations like this, a family is expected to come together and sort out their differences. Oh God. Mm -hmm. One family is is better than seven, in fact, hundred friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and they might pronounce that blood is thicker than water. That's that's right. No matter what, blood blood and water can't be compared. You know go? Oyoyom, Asam, Adam Jemono. Please, I want to know how far you've gone in persuading Zebenjo not to place charges against your own blood brother. Yes. <laughs> it is a difficult situation. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Zebenjo insists that the only way he will close the case is if you let both of us get married. And in his words, he gave both of you seven days to come up with a decision. 
Seven. Two. Well, you have more than came here. I come and ask for one. Seven days, the one so. Seven days. Oh yes, seven days. And after seven days, he will meet with Ozioko and all their elders in council to finalize. Oh, hey. Delay is dangerous, so... Mama, what do you think? Look, we don't have any choice. We don't have a choice. Mwabeze is not even anywhere to be found. Who is talking about Mwabeze here? Eh? Leave Mwabeze's case alone. Huh. Hey. 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 I give my consent. Uh, what will I do now? I give my consent. We shall send words to the to them to start making arrangements for the marriage rights. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. Your brother has given his consent. Oh, mm, I This is not fair. This is not fair. Let peace reign. Good to you, goody. You know, no. You do go keep on my money. Money age work estate in Macaulay, one number one year. One number one year. She should know that I am blood, only one of all. And you are the head of this family. Can you go ahead? Nabu head, Marabe. The hatred is so much. Envyness and jealousy. Are you going to now tell me why Chinelu left you? And explain to me why my mother left you and married another? Are you going to tell me about your fear for newborn baby? Slow down! Come slow. Come, come. Come, come. Tell me. Don't tell me you have been brainwashed by what Obudile said. I have not been brainwashed, no. Why haven't you married Chiegoni? And you people love each other so much. Love women with you, Benini. And you have been together for five years. Why? Sumnazo, mm -hmm. you are my daughter. Mm -hmm. And you have never loved Chegono. I would have married her long ago if you have approved of it. Lies. Hmm? Lies. Lies, 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 Papa. I know about your fears for newborn babies. That is why you left Chinelo when she was expectant. And she died, didn't she? You left my mother when she was pregnant for me. Thankfully, Mr. Opoli found her, gave her hope and supported her until she gave birth to me. And as a noble man, he gave me back to you. And then he married her. My daughter, sometimes you don't believe all those lies. I am a strong man and... Yes, you are a strong man, Papa. Back to my first question. Chinilo was pregnant when she left your house. Where is the baby? Chinilo. She died with the baby, I guess. Look, Sumnazo. Don't believe all those lies that are aimed at painting my image black. She Gono will not want to paint your image black, Papa. For her to say yes about your fear for newborn babies, then there's some truth in it. They found Chinelo's decaying body, but they never found the baby. Papa. Why? Papa. Mm. 
It is better to earn everything possible to get her married to that boy, Sebenjo, so that all the thing will end once and for all. Diego, what do you think you're doing and what do you know about my late wife Chinelo that you discussed it with my daughter? Huh? My love, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Some Nazo said the reason I have not married you yet is for the fear of having babies around me. How can you tell that lie? On what danger? Yes. Don't you have fear of making babies? Hmm? Wait, till. I want to ask you a question. Which child has grown up under your watch? Period of my beds. Eh? <sighs> cool. My daughter. So many years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, welcome, my wife. Welcome, you. my wife. Thank you. Just arrange it. So, uh, how did you go at the health center? My husband, he was successful. Mm. In fact, from the expected date, the doctor said I have 12 days from today. 12 days? Yes, I have from 23rd to ending of the month. Um, it's okay. You may go inside now. I will join you later. Huh? Okay. Have you eaten? Oh, don't worry about food. Okay. I'm fine. Are you sure? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, you may go inside. I'll be inside. I'll be coming, okay? Listen, let me tell you, for the past days now, I have been having bad dreams. And I can't condone that anymore. Leave my house! Because then, because, because see, please. you can go to anywhere or relative to stay with. Yeah. I can only come there to see you. But for now, you must leave. Leave! Leave my house. Get up! Get up. Leave my house! How you? Leave my house! Come on!
the house because I refused to listen to him and I went ahead to marry Owodinjo and now he has asked me to leave his house. Please can I stay here? All oh, this would have not happened if you had listened to me. Florence, I begged you. I loved you. I still do. <laughs> but instead you chose Owodinjo over me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Can I just stay here for just some time? My best place is near, please. I don't even have any other place to go to. Okay, let me just stay here for some time. Please, don't ask me to leave. Florence, yes. whatever I can not do for you is not within my powers. If not for anything, for the love I have for you, the genuine love I have for you, and of course your pregnancy that is almost due, you, you can stay as long as you want. I will? Yeah, you can. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. God bless you. I truly love you. I love you so much. Let's go inside. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. When you grow up, your father, Omo Dinjo, started coming to take you. But Okule wouldn't allow him to take you just like that. He now took him to the village council. After they might have judged everything, they ruled in his favor. Yes. But before then, I had a child of my own. Ukuli, now allow him to take you. He now returned back the bride price he paid for me before he would come dragging his own child. He now went and paid my bride price. Oh, the job. I ask you again. What are you doing in my house? Leave this place now. Leave this place right now. I have warned you to stay away from me and my family. What are you doing here? Your family. Your family just said, you must be very stupid. You have my wife and my daughter in your house. Are you asking me to leave your house? You must give me back my daughter and my wife right now. I am not your wife. You sent me out of your house and somebody who understands the value of family took me in and has been taking care of me ever since then. Yeah. And here you come to make noise. See, I want the enjoy. Go back to your wretched house and mourn your loss. Took you in? Okay yes. then. Give me my daughter right now. I will create the great devil havoc in this village. You have no right. Hear me? I said you have no right. Now okay. Look at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You can't say a man. Eh? Oh. Now you know she's a child, right? After abandoning her. But she's up to age. Leave this place now. Mr. Man. Leave this place now, Mr. Man. You should be the one who is supposed to be ashamed of himself. You took my wife. In a clear skin to skin. Within a few years. Look at the children everywhere. She is not your daughter. She ceased to be your daughter the day you sent us out of your house. Ba. In fact, I wouldn't get her from this place. My mother said you should leave. See, you know, that, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she is my daughter, my biological daughter, and I want her right now. And you will not get what you want. Leave my house this moment. Are you not even here? Leave house. Leave this place now. Come on, get out from me. They don't care. I don't. They don't care. Leave my compound. Adania. 
Can't you look at these people? You resemble them. See, look, you're my biological daughter. You're, you're my biological daughter. I said, leave my girl at this moment. I'm going to cool the guy at the moment. How can you consent to such kind of resolve? No matter how we see it, so Nazu is his child. We cannot continue to keep her here for too long. Well, he can't take care of Sumnazu. Sumnazu can take care of him. You see, he may look so young now and vibrant. When old age sets, he cannot do anything about it. We have to allow her to go. Your empathy is such a rare one. I wouldn't want to argue with you. But I just pray my daughter will be fine. She will learn to be fine. I know she will be fine. I know you love her so much. I do too. But it doesn't change the fact that she has to go. It's her father. Okay, there's no problem. I believe you. And you'll be fine too. Sure, I will. Why don't you get me something to eat? I'm famished. I'm hungry. Okay, I'm coming. So, Nazu. Come, come and get water so your dad will eat. Uh, come. My daughter, as you can see, your father is supposed to support you in what's Ever decision you're making now. Yes. So that he will enjoy the happiness of being a grandfather. I know, I know. And he supports me. He wants me to get married. He likes my choice. Mama, the only thing he does not like is the fact that I want to get married to somebody coming from Umojirike community. That is the only thing. That is it. That is it. Why does he not? I want you to marry from Umochirike's village. <sighs> mm. My daughter, in a situation like this, what do you want to do? Amaro. Amaro. I don't, but what I know is that in my heart, in my soul, with my entire being, I love Zebenjo so much. Mama, you see this heart inside my chest? Mm -hmm. His love pumps blood into this heart. I cannot live the rest of my life without him. How can I survive without him? How can I breathe? How can I exist? <laughs> okay, you don't know what to do. I don't know. Come, let me tell you something. I love you. You may not know how it starts. do. thank you so very much for welcoming us well. You don't know how grateful I am. You don't need to bother. You know, I've never had anything against any member of your family. In spite of all the gara gara buru buru your son has been bringing against my family. <laughs> I didn't take it as anything. You know, Mazi, Mazi, that is why we came. <clears throat> that is why we came to settle our differences. Yes. And again, you know, have an agreement. An agreement to that can make us unified once again. Exactly. Yes. Well, we are here to let you know that we have decided that your son Zebenjo can now come and marry my sister. Yes. Sasu, why? Why the sudden change? What, what are you scared of? <laughs> Nothing really. It's, it's, it's just that this time I, I want love to win. Like he has always won. 
I mean, your family is a good family of great repute. Uh, we can make a consenting in laws. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But what can I say? It's a, it's a wonderful development, you know, and I cannot thank you enough for changing your mind to um, support and approve their union. Chai. Mm. Ah, thank you so much, Maziodo. Thank you, thank you. Please, sir, you are free to come any day, any time with your kinsmen to perform the customary marriage rites, just like my son has said. Ah, Udod. Sebuadiro. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I also want to say sorry for all, all the trouble. It's okay. <laughs> okay, 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 to be attended to immediately. This your pedophobic nature has risen again. Where are you going? What is this? What, what is bringing this? Why are you going backwards instead of forward? What is bringing this now? I'm not talking to you. It's a good imagine. I know not what you're talking about. Let's if go. your father was afraid of having you, you wouldn't have been born and lived today. I can see that you don't want peace. You want problem. You want violence. You want trouble, trouble, trouble. But well, what is wrong with this girl? Some people are not married. Leave our house. Don't take any bucket from there. Please go, John. If you take it from what I reduce one inch. What is wrong with this girl? Eh? Some people are not married. Why some families are childless because they are afraid of growing infants? I wonder what could be the 